Kyle Walker living in apartment block after being kicked out by wife following Lauren Goodman AF. Kyle Walker is reportedly staying in Manchester City-owned accommodation after being kicked out by his wife Annie Kilner. The England defender's home life is in turmoil as the Premier League season approaches following revelations he fathered a second child with his ex-mistress. Walker 34 has been involved in legal battles over child maintenance payments. He appeared in court last month where his former lover Lauren Goodman was accused of making greedy demands. The ongoing situation has apparently strained his marriage to Kilner. He's been ousted from their Cheshire mansion once more despite the couple being seen on holiday together recently. The Sun has reported he is now staying in an apartment owned by Manchester City who are beginning the new season with a game against Chelsea on Saturday. Walker and Kilner married in 2022 and have four children together. The pair have been together for many years but briefly separated in 2019 when it was revealed he had fathered a child from a fling with 32-year-old Goodman. After they reconciled it was revealed in January that Walker had fathered a second child with his then-mistress after another affair. She sent a text to Kilner in December stating, Hey it's Lauren I just wanted to quickly tell you that Kyle is the father of our daughter. The model was accused of insatiable greed by a spokesman for Walker after the family court battle. During the hearing Goodman claimed that Walker tried to meet her in secret at a hotel just days after their legal row. The court battle played out shortly after Walker returned from the Euros where he played for England. He had also been seen on holiday with Kilner suggesting the relationship with his wife was back on. But on Friday the Sun revealed otherwise. A source is quoted as saying, he's been staying at the club-owned apartments because he's got nowhere else to go. He thought Annie would have him back after they shared family holidays but she wouldn't agree to it. One visitor described the island as paradise. A village row has broken out after Paul Hollywood's wife was granted permission to turn the historic Kent pub she owns into a house. The late Queen Elizabeth II is warmly remembered for her wicked sense of humor, something which she used after a less than expected run-in with a builder at the palace. The Mandy Dingle actress went from a size 28 to a size 12 in just 18 months but the journey has been far from easy. Emmerdale star Lisa Riley has opened up about her nine-year sobriety milestone during an interview on Lorraine. The actor made the remark during a live recording of Radio 4's Front Row. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag is heading into his third season at Old Trafford with Fulham the visitors in the Premier League. This is the only butter you'll need for all your baking. Junior Andre and his model girlfriend Jasmine had heads turning at their first official red carpet appearance in London's Leicester Square on Wednesday night. The Loose Women star took to social media as she filmed her latest trip to the salon. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are currently on a four-day visit to Colombia and a lip reader has reportedly uncovered an exchange between the couple as they kicked off the tour. Moscow is scrambling to respond to Ukraine's invasion of the Kursk region the largest attack by a foreign enemy on Russian soil since World War II. Here's what the latest polls say about the 2024 presidential election from the Independence Data Correspondent. Rylan Clark and Josie Gibson were back in the hosting seat on this morning when they halted the ITV daytime show to share some exciting wedding news with viewers. Manchester United midfielder Kabi Mainu is going to be a key player for Eric Ten Hag which shall only increase interest from elsewhere. Chain defence decision to sprinkle almonds over pain o chocolate and dish it up for 95p extra. Kiev said Friday its incursion into Russian territory had advanced claiming it aimed to force Russia to negotiate on fair terms as Moscow's troops announced new gains in eastern Ukraine. Ukraine has ruled out any talks with Russia if Russian troops do not leave its territory. Queen Elizabeth II marks 70 years since accession to the throne. Joshua Xerxes scored on debut to give Manchester United a scrappy 1-0 opening Premier League win against a stubborn Fulham side. Minnesota Gov. Tim Walls has had a stunningly successful rollout as the Democratic vice presidential nominee despite Republican attacks on his record in office and in the military. Walls has a positive 5-point net favorability score according to averages from Decision Desk HQ which stands out as many of the top politicians around him are underwater.